My name is Jordan and I was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa when I was 15 years old. I wanted to make a video about my, what I deem success story with this diagnosis. I basically, I guess to sum up my story shortly, was diagnosed when I was 15, didn't think much of this disease, kept going on about my normal life until I was around the age of 30. And when I turned 30, I had just kind of noticed that I was having more struggles with my vision and decided to go into the local retina institute in order to just get a checkup on my eyes and see the see where my vision was at because I knew that my vision was going, that was getting worse, but I just, I kind of wanted to make sure that I wasn't going crazy. And um, come to find out when I got that, when I went and got that testing done, I was right. My vision had gotten significantly worse in the two years leading up to that. So, um, so yeah, needless to say, I kind of had a, crisis moment in my life, realizing that I was 30 years old and it seemed like my vision was rapidly um, going away. And I decided to basically quit everything in my life and packed up all of my belongings, took the little money that I had in savings and just went to travel because I figured that if I I'm not gonna be able to see in the next couple of years, which is what it seemed like based off of the test results that they had shown me. I wanted to know that I went and saw and did things that I wanted to do. And um, so yeah, so that's what I did about a, a year ago, actually. I went off to Thailand and spent three months there, went to a lot of different, um, just different healing centers and although that these centers were for physical like detox healing also spiritual and emotional healing i somehow found myself in circles of people that were telling me that they had cured themselves from things that were deemed incurable um and they were all different types of diseases so when i was in that phase of my life when i was over in thailand just intermixing with all of these different people and meeting people from all over the world uh, with all different being that they were from all over the world and they had all different types of medical systems from their home countries I started to question and realize that maybe there was other answers other than the fact that the doctors in the U.S. told me that there was nothing they could do to help me so I decided to do some digging some working with different healers uh, from different parts of the world and um, started doing a lot of my own research about just this diagnosis that I had been given and also just health in general because what I started to realize while I was in my travels and just talking to lots of different people from different walks of life that our health absolutely has to do with our whole as a being it's not just um, that you have a gene that's messed up something triggers that something always triggers something, whether it be uh, stress, whether it be something that you're dealing with in your environment, whether it be pollution or the foods that you're eating um, or lots of other things that I won't say on here. Um, but there's lots of different things that can trigger our bodies into um, getting sick and not operating at the way that it's supposed to operate. And the more that I did research and the more that I started to talk to people from all different places throughout the world, I started to have my eyes open literally to the fact that our health is um, super complex in the fact that our bodies have the ability to heal themselves, but also um, that it's complex in that way, but also that it's very, very simple too and i went down a crazy um, what i call crazy what a lot of people call crazy but actually is pretty simple um i went down a detox like health protocol for about um i mean honestly i'm still i'm still experiencing it still on it but i started a different lifestyle november of last year so it's been a year and i noticed within two months that the snowflakey vision that I had had for like a year or so prior went away. 
I started to notice that I was no longer tripping over stuff. I was no longer walking into things. I no longer was having a hard time seeing at night. And it just started to occur to me that the people that I had talked to during my travels, the research that I was doing about how to heal and fix my body, um, it started to occur to me that there was something to what I was doing. And um, yeah, so I just got more and more passionate about my healing journey and about the fact that I absolutely think that we can heal ourselves of anything. And although a lot of people I think are scared to say this out loud about this diagnosis or really any diagnosis because you don't wanna get um, people saying hateful things to you or you don't want to deal with all of the backlash of people like expanding and opening their minds. But I absolutely think that we can heal ourselves from just about anything, just about anything. Obviously it depends on like how, how much you are in the hole, like how far along you are into whatever destruction you've done to your body. But I do think that in most situations we can heal ourselves. And I think that it's really, really simple just about um, what we have in our body, detoxing out things that should not be in our body, being aware of our environment, what type of pollutions are we bringing in, um, our emotional pollution. I think that was the biggest thing that I realized for me is that my vision got significantly worse the two times in my life that my vision like rapidly progressed were some of the most stressful, hardest times of my life. And I found that also when I was a lot more stressed, that my vision seemed to be way worse and I was struggling with it. And it seemed like when I had a huge lifestyle change about a year and a half ago and just started diving into all of these different modalities that are, most of them are free and natural, they're not experimental, they're, they're not supplements. Um, but when I started diving into all these different modalities, my vision started to become like clear and I started to not have issues with it at all. So I wanted to make a video for those of you that are, you know, have not given up and have not just accepted the fact that there's nothing they can do for you or for your vision or for any, like any, anything that you're struggling with, any symptom, disease. For those of you that have not just said, you know what, I have bad luck and this is just my life. Um, I'm here to tell you that there are absolutely ways to heal our bodies. We are solely responsible for our health and our own healing. And I'm here to say that not only have I had my vision become so much more clear and I've started to hack what I think needs to be done to my body for long term in order for it to reverse the vision loss. But I'm I'm just here to give you give you hope as well if you want the hope. I know some people out there that, especially with this diagnosis, have just given up hope and are just very woe is me and just think that their life is awful. But I am just here for those people that want to look at a different way that this quite possibly was just a huge wake up call for you to get your shit together and um, start treating yourself better. And I now am on a complete anti-inflammatory, I don't like the word diet, but my lifestyle now, I only eat anti-inflammatory foods. Um, I'm really big about bringing in practices that are good for blood circulation to the higher part of my, my head. I've brought in a lot of different uh, practices that help me manage stress and help me to kind of keep a level head and a sense of peace no matter what's going on in my life. I um, have just developed an entire new lifestyle that has completely helped me with my vision. And I will say that when I was really struggling and going through it and I was kind of losing my mind about this entire situation, I did have a woman tell me that she had found success. Her and her sister both had had been diagnosed with this disease and that she had been going to acupuncture appointments for a really long time, like something like 40 years or something. 
And she was saying that she, like her vision was getting better from, or it did get better from going to acupuncture. And at the time, I did start seeing an acupuncturist that she had recommended to me. And I personally felt like it didn't work at all. But flash, flash forward to this time about last year when I started going down this emotional healing journey, I, um, I think... I think that my vision started to get better because I was just in a better headspace. I was just in a place to receive the fact that my life wasn't over and that there was a possibility that I could heal myself. So earlier this year, I did go to a second acupuncturist and that is a part of the um, healing journey that I've been on is that I had changed my my food, I changed my practices, I changed my mindset, and I was going to an acupuncturist and a chiropractor. He was one and the same. But, um, but yeah, and I will say that my vision dramatically improved. And I don't know out of the 10 different things that I st like started to incorporate into my life, I don't know which one is what has helped my vision. But all I know is that it has helped it. And I know that it's not only helped my vision, but it's just helped my overall life and peace and existence. So I'm just going to keep on with my journey. And I'm so happy to share with anybody that is interested in the same path that I've been on. I have come across not only the woman that I spoke with that her and her sister both had been diagnosed with RP that were going to acupuncturists for the majority of their life that swore up and down that it helped. But I also have come across different Facebook groups. There's two different Facebook groups in general that are geared towards holistic healing of RP. And one of them is um, an amazing group. I don't necessarily agree with everything that she recommends the woman that like is the admin of the group. I don't necessarily recommend, or I don't necessarily agree with everything that she recommends. However, I'm so happy to see other people that are saying they're having success with reversing their RP by food and by lifestyle changes. So not only have I seen the two women I spoke with, the uh, several different Facebook groups, I've also had a lot of people reach out to me that are have also been diagnosed with RP that also are on a journey of healing themselves through just things that we have in our environment, not any kind of experimental clinical trial or any kind of surgery or any type of medicine. Like the people that I have been interacting with that have this same diagnosis, people are finding success. And I just wanted to share a video on my personal experience um, I will add that I did go back to the um, doctor to get my eyes retested at the beginning of this year because I was so sure that my vision was getting better um, because I just, I felt it. I was, like I said, it was not having issues at all with my vision. And so I went back at the beginning of this year to get testing and it was very, that appointment was very ironic and interesting because not only had my vision not progressed at all and in fact she said that I was able to see a little bit more of the areas than what I had been in the year before not only that which was a huge milestone for me that it was um that it had not progressed and it in fact had gotten a little bit better than it was the year before but with the appointment that I went to when I uh which was two years ago when I was 30 the way the rapidness of how my disease was progressing, basically at this mark, two years after that, I should have already been completely without vision. So I knew that when I went to the doctor earlier this year, that if I continued to look at all of my different charts about the progression of this disease over the past 15, 17 years now, um, I knew that something I'm doing with my lifestyle has helped stop the progression of this disease. So I am just here to be an open book for those of you that have questions. I know a lot of you guys have kids that you are trying to find answers for, and I can very much appreciate that. I wish that at the time when I got diagnosed that I just, um, I wish that my family 
that we didn't just say, okay, there's nothing we can do and just hope for them to make a cure. I wish we did a little bit more dig digging. And I think now that a lot of people are opening up to the fact that uh, traditional medicine is not the only solution to a lot of the problems that people are having in our society, I think that it's an exciting time because if you do your own digging and you go out on your own journey to find answers, a lot of times you find answers rather than just waiting around and accepting the fact that traditional medicine has told you there's nothing that they can do. So I personally feel so passionate about everything that I've experienced with my life and the changes that I've made that I've pretty much dedicated my whole life to helping people with any type of symptom. It's not even just, um, it's not even just RP, anything that people are dealing with. I, um, am now doing health and wellness coaching just because I, along my journey, decided to get my breast implants removed because I did have breast implants for five or six years. And that was kind of when I realized that my vision, or that's when I think and feel that my vision increased the most with the loss of it. And with doing research with that, with breast implants and realizing that a lot of women miraculously got autoimmune diseases while having breast implants. A lot of them started having vision issues. A lot of them got diagnosed with Lyme disease or Hashimoto's, or I can't even tell you all the list with the breast implant illness situation. But just from my journey of pouring into myself emotionally and physically to heal my, my emotional and physical body, deciding that I was going to get my breast implants out after realizing that they could be causing some sort of autoimmune issues, which are causing the cells in my eyes to die. Um, I just have gone down a crazy, just whole life transformation and decided that I'm dedicating my life to helping people that are interested in finding other answers and helping them regenerate their health. So I just wanted to make this video for those of you that are experiencing the scary reality that you need to do something different with your lifestyle. Um, those of you that are dealing with that or those of you that have kids that are struggling with this and maybe they're young and maybe you are hoping that by the time they're 30 <laughs> that there will be a cure. Um, I think that if you have a young child right now is like the perfect time for you to um, start digging into changing their lifestyle and also changing your own lifestyle because regardless if this does help the the progression of this disease or any other diseases everything that i'm suggesting as far as finding ways to manage stress um, watching the type of pollution that you put into your body and that you're breathing in and that you're around, um, getting good blood circulation, eating anti-inflammatory foods, detoxing your body out of all of the crazy stuff that we've eaten over the years that are still in our bodies, um, maybe picking up like acupuncture and chiropractic work, all of these things that I'm suggesting, which um, I can go in later on like a personal level with you if you're interested, but all these things I'm suggesting, None of them are going to harm you. So for those of you that are gonna come on and comment and say that this is all stupid and not real, um, that is your journey and that is your decision to feel like that. Me personally, I am never have had the personality that's just gonna roll over and say, you're right, I lose, I'm defeated, I'm going blind. Um, that's never been my personality. So I just want to share my personal experience and how I've slowed down the progression of this disease and am actually, in fact, reversing my vision loss. And um, those of you that feel called to my journey and this in general, please stay tuned. Please reach out to me, ask questions. I'm going to be sharing a lot more about my health journey and I'm I'm here to serve others um, along their journey as well. So just wanted to make this video. Like I said, I wish I would have known this a lot longer because I would have started working on myself a lot before, a lot longer before all of this happened. But um, I just wanted to give those of you hope that are looking for help, that are looking for other answers. And those of you that have decided that this is your fate, 
and there's nothing you can do and then are just going to accept what the medical profession has decided and are not interested in looking outside of the box, um, that's your journey. And I'm so at, at peace with understanding that we are all on different journeys and that's totally okay. Um, and again, everything that I'm suggesting and everything that I've dove into, none of it really costs money and none of it is experimental. So I'm not in any danger either way, financially or physically. So hope this helps to you guys that are interested. Um, thank you for watching and talk to you soon.